Hi there. In this Java short, we are going to look at switch expressions which were introduced in Java 14. So why do we need them when we already have switch statements? Switch statements are verbose and can also be error prone, which means that switch expressions have got to be concise and also safer to code. So let's go ahead and check them out. So here we have the method get season, which takes month as an int and returns the corresponding name of the season. And it uses a switch statement. So the problem here is in each of the case branches, we have the break statement. So that makes it verbose and it is also tedious to write all those break statements. And it is also error prone because if we miss a break statement, then the control falls through until we hit a break statement in a subsequent branch. So if we forget this break statement, then the control falls through and season will be incorrectly set as summer rather than spring. So we have summer in the month of March. So that's global warming. And there's also an issue with this particular example. So here we have duplicate code. As we can see in the first three cases, we are setting the season to the same value spring. And in the next three branches, we are setting it to summer. So that's duplicate code. And we have all of these issues. And can we address them? Of course, we can address them because with Java 14, we have something called arrow labels and arrow labels are case labels which look like this. So they look very much like the traditional case labels, except that they end in an arrow symbol rather than a column. So you have the case keyword followed by the label name followed by the arrow symbol and with that, our original method can be rewritten in this way. So as we can see, there are no break statements here and that makes this concise. And with arrow labels, the control also does not fall through. So it is also safer. The issue still here is in this example, we still have duplicates. So how can we address that? Here with the arrow labels, we can also have multi-labeled cases. So we can merge all those case labels which have the same logic. So here what we have is this. We can rewrite it in this way so that season is set only once. But this is still a switch statement. It's not a switch expression, which is the topic of this particular Java shot. So switch expression is just an expression, which means that it needs to evaluate to a single value, right? We know that expressions do that. So if that can happen, we can set the season variable here to the switch. So we can assign the switch expression itself to the season and we need not set the season in each of those branches. So let's go ahead and do that in the editor. So this is the same switch statement which we have just seen. Here, what we are going to do is, we're going to replace this and assign this here. So we are going to convert it into a switch expression, but we are getting a compilation error because it says a switch expression should have a default case. So the problem here is it needs to evaluate to a single value, but what if month is greater than 12? In that case, it's not going to evaluate to any value. So we need to handle that case and for that we can insert a default uh, case and so that's one good advantage of switch expressions. So we need to cover all of the bases which, is, which need not happen with switch statements. So let's go ahead and add the default case label. Here it is. So it's going to throw an exception here. So that's what it is and we can also knock these off. We don't need them. And that's it. So this is what it is. So it is going to return this. So it's very much like a function where it's taking an input and it's returning the output. So this arrow label can have an expression like this. We say that we are yielding this value or it can throw an exception or it can also have a block statement. Now, if it has a block here on the right side, it can have a bunch of statements, but the last statement here has got to be this new statement called yield, 
which has been introduced in Java 14. So it can be an expression on the right or it can be a block of statements or it can be an expression. So that's Java short on switch expressions and there is more to it and there is also more to switch and if you want to learn more you can check out our Java in-depth course. Thank you and see you in the next episode.